Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing all right. Uh, so let's go over another uh, SEC dumpster uh, prospectus that I found recently. Uh, so this is also dated um, September 20th, uh, same thing along with uh, WEEK, uh, the, the uh, Round Hill uh, T-Bill ETF. So this yield max has a funny ticker symbol and I'm trying really hard not to make any bad jokes, um, but you know, SLTY might not have been like the best um, ticker symbol, but hey, that's that's on them. Uh, so well, SLTY help hedge LT uh, because I, I think you know a lot of folks are maybe not thrilled with uh, LT's performance, including myself. Um, but I still do have my high yield allocation, and um, of course, I'm not loyal to any one ETF for sure. Um, you know, in this type of market, you know, we've had a pretty good bull market, and you know, after that. It could be uh, kind of ugly, but you know, let's hope for the best. Let's hope uh, we can uh, uh, keep the bull market uh, going. Uh, so, of course, as always, uh, this has not been SEC approved. So, since it's September twentieth, it's a very similar estimate uh, as to when um, the SEC will approve this. Um, so, around maybe December fourth, uh, because it says seventy-five days after filing. Um, so. And then, of course, we still don't know what the expense ratio is, uh, but I'm guessing it'll probably be like similar to ulti so probably 1.15 percent or somewhere around there uh, hopefully they they can uh, maybe also do a, a fee waiver similar to ulti uh, so you know just going through like the perspectives um, i don't think anything um, too shocking here uh, they're going after uh, stocks and etfs that, that have a high implied volatility except uh, this one instead of ulti uh, instead of stuff that goes up uh, they want stuff that goes down so it's pretty simple to to understand uh, and it's also similar to ulti like uh, they have the choice of either going with direct shorts so meaning they can short a stock and then sell a sell a um i guess in this case like a covered put um and then they can also use synthetics uh so basically kind of like you know short a call uh long a put um just to kind of mirror like a synthetic uh short um, and then again, uh, nothing too surprising here. Uh, managers are Mr. J and Michael Venuto and Christopher Mullen. Um, these names should be pretty familiar with uh, for most uh, yield max enthusiasts. Um, and then I think the probably like the most interesting thing for this particular ETF is that um, or proposed ETF is that um, the option techniques. So the selling put. Um, so you know instead of selling a cover call, like you're basically selling a cover put. Uh, so I think most people are familiar with that. Um, and then selling credit spreads. So this is be similar to what uh, Spy T and Triple Q T, uh, what they are doing, probably. So like they're selling a, uh, a, a credit spread. So you're selling like uh, one call and buying a, a call uh, just above, above, above it. Um, um, and then, you know, we haven't seen that. Uh, used uh, too often um, and then also the next one is like the selling uh, diagonal put spreads again um, this hasn't um, been used uh, uh, that frequently so I think it'll be interesting to kind of see at least like in the beginning to see what um, yield max does uh, there might be some good ideas in here uh, that we can use in our own own trading uh, but that you know of course remains to be seen uh, and then the same thing with uh, cash secured uh, call selling so th this is kind of interesting because i guess if you're just selling a uh well let's just, just go over what they they say here uh so cash secured call selling while selling call options while holding enough cash to margin the short security at the strike price of assigned so the, the strategy generates income from the premium received so you know that's kind of interesting so i want to see how they how they do this um in like real time um so and then also they also plan to do uh selling calendar uh put spreads so again i'm really interested to see how how this all play out especially in one fund so like let's say they, they see like maybe um they think nvidia might be overvalued uh, and then maybe they also think uh, medical be overvalued and so on and so forth to see how they if they're going to implement all of these strategies at the same time or if it's like a pick and choose because I, I don't want this to become um, 
too messy, kind of like how Ulti was in the beginning. At first they did like regular cover calls, um, and then they they switched to synthetic cover calls, and then they tried to to adjust like the cash balances uh, like up and down, and and that was kind of uh, messy. Uh, so hopefully for this one, uh, maybe they can learn from uh, like some of the missteps from Ulti, and then kind of use this to use that as like a learning experience to improve like some of the the trades for for SLTY. Uh, but you know. Uh, this is just my opinion. Uh, you know, of course, like you probably need to uh, always like, stay on top of your investments and your hedges. Um, and I, I don't know if I'm like that excited, um, but I, I still wish them best because I, you know, I still want. I don't want Yule Max to like uh, to to you know get in like deep trouble. Um, I, I think like you know they need to just like uh, find new ways or maybe put out some new stuff, kind of like this to kind of like get them back on the feet because right, right now um i feel like they're they're um you know losing some market share um and then you know i, I think just like competition in general is just good for like the whole space in general like you know because they did do some uh uh interesting things uh, you know there are some good stuff uh with within yield max uh so hopefully they can kind of like continue to innovate and get back in the feet um so hopefully everybody enjoys this uh please like and subscribe and i hope people make some good money out there and i'll see you in the next video